Action. Welcome to Bites with Ben. Today, we're gonna to be making the most fantastic chips. <laughs> the most fantastic chips that you've ever eaten in your life at home. And I'm under some pressure here today to get them good because my director, producer, cameraman extraordinaire is the biggest fan of chips that you will ever come across. He is gonna be the one who's gonna be eating them and testing them so you're gonna see exactly how good they are straight away. What we're gonna do, very important that you have a sharp knife and a good potato. Cut yourself off the ends. We're gonna leave the skins on, just like that, nice and thin, probably about a quarter of an inch each one. Really important they're thin because otherwise they're not gonna cook properly because we are not parboiling these chips. They're gonna go straight into the oven on a really high heat. Careful not to chop your hands. So, there we go. Probably about that thickness. And what we're gonna do with those is we're gonna soak them in water for at least half an hour to remove all of the starch. Here are some that I made earlier. These have been soaking for about an hour or so. Half an hour is fine, but as long as possible is much better. You wanna get all of that starch out of the chips because that's what makes them soggy when they're cooking and they're gonna steam if there's too much starch in there. So soak them for as long as you can and then get them dry. Okay, now they're soaked and drained. We need to get them really, really dry, which is exactly what this is for. Now, we are not sponsored by Blitz Kitchen Roll Incorporated, but these babies are absolutely fantastic to get them nice and dry. Pat them dry, and you wanna remove as much moisture as possible, and I mean as much as possible. Really get them dry. If you can see any shine on the chips, that's no good, that means they're still wet. Once they're dry, get them back in your bowl. Once the chips have been dried, bring them back into focus. Now remember, these are the best homemade chips you're ever gonna have, which is why we're putting all the work in here. What we need to do now is get some vegetable oil. Very important it's vegetable oil because of its high smoke point. And that's what allows the chips to get really, really crispy, fluffy on the inside. So we're gonna go in with just a tablespoon of vegetable oil. One tablespoon will be just fine. A nice, good grind of pepper. Real good, get some height on there. And then a sprinkling of sea salt. Just like this. And then get your hands in there. Mix it around. Make sure they're all coated, just like that. Perfect. Now those are good to go in the oven. Next, get yourself a piping hot baking tray. Ah, my hands! That is really hot. This has been preheating in the oven for probably about half an hour at 220 centigrade Celsius. That is the most important thing. That means you're gonna get really crisp on the bottom, really crisp on top as well. So, bring your chips into view. Get the chips on the tray. It's piping hot, remember, so be really careful. Make sure they're spread out, because they need enough space to cook properly and not steam. If there's too many together, they're gonna steam. So something like that will do just nicely. Yeah? And now that's ready to go in the oven. Ah, my hands! Jesus! First aid is super important on Bites with Ben, which is why we found a new use for Blitz Kitchen Roll. They're bandaged up, I might have burnt my hands, but we're absolutely fine. Now I can grip this safely, like you can at home. These are gonna be cooked for about 30 minutes in the oven, 25, 30 minutes or so, on 220 degrees Celsius, so really hot. Really hot baking tray. It's coming through the Blitz, so I'm gonna have to drop it. We're going to the kitchen, see you soon. So, here we are. The most fantastic home cooked chips you're ever gonna eat. They're absolutely beautiful. I've finished mine with a little bit of mold and sea salt because why not? And they're looking absolutely superb. Now we're gonna try them. Let's go. So, the taste test. As I mentioned before, my producer, director, and cameraman is here to taste these chips and put them to the test. He knows what he's talking about. He's had many a chip. Martin, let us know what you think. Let's dive in. Well, Ben, thanks for the introduction.
fluffy inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crispy, nice cut. Mm. They're thin, nice browning. The texture's really good. They are crispy. They are crispy. The question is, are these chips the best chips you're ever going to eat? That's the big question. So what's the verdict? Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, they are. Hell yeah. Damn straight, motherfucker. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. I want to get inside these chips. Mm, yeah. Get them inside me. Oh, they're so good. Mmm. <laughs> That's what we want to hear. Mmm. You heard it from the expert on oh, chips. Man. He's eating all the chips in the world. All of them. So he knows what you're talking about. That's the endorsement we need. Mm. Thank you very much, Martin. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ben. It's good to have you on the show. Thank you for letting me eat. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure to you. Mm. Mm. Well, there you have it. The best oven cooked chips from the expert, AKA the Chipmeister. Mm. I think we've proved it. I hope you try this at home. Mm. We'll see you later. Mm. Until then, and until next time, mm. goodbye. Mm. 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 Sorry, I ate all the chips. <laughs> <laughs>